But is that truly the sole reason why Citizen and Psilocybin exist on this planet? To get into some other ideas on why Citizen and Psilocybin evolved and are still present in some of the world's favorite mushrooms, we have to understand the neurochemical function of these alkaloids. When consumed, psilocybin is rapidly metabolized in the liver and turns into psilocin. This is crucial because without this metabolization, psilocybin would not be biologically active in humans or insects. We often refer to psilocybin mushrooms instead of psilocin mushrooms because it's a lot more stable of a molecule. Psilocin reacts very intensely to oxygen, degrading very rapidly and leaving the infamous bluing after the alkaloid has oxidized. After the psilocybin is metabolized into psilocin, the psilocin starts moving through the body until it finds its home and connects to serotonin receptors in the brain, most notably the 5H2A receptor that's also involved in the psychedelic effects of LSD, MDMA, mescaline, and a plethora of other psychedelic substances. When a substance binds to this receptor, or similar receptors present in the nervous system of other mammals, reptiles, fish, insects, and arachnids, they produce the infamous psychedelic state. But is that truly the sole reason why psilocin and psilocybin exist on this planet?